what is meant by plant tissue culture and what is meant by plasticity and totipotency and what is meant by a explant then you are going to get all the answers of all these questions in this video so welcome to a new video of obj's biology and in this video i am going to discuss about the plant tissue culture and related terms of plant tissue culture so plant tissue culture which refers to the in vitro cultivation of all parts of a plant whether a single cell it can be a tissue or it can be a organ of a plant and it is done on a nutrient medium under aseptic conditions in vitro cultivation means the cultivation which is done within the glass means the cultivation is done within a test tube plant cells or tissues can continue to grow if they are supplied with the appropriate nutrients and conditions so if we want to know the definition of this plant tissue culture then this definition is so the culture of plant cells or tissues and organs such as root shoot tips and leaves in artificial nutrient media aseptically under defined physical and chemical condition is referred to as plant tissue culture and this tissue culture is commonly used as a broad term to describe all types of plant cultures namely callus culture cell culture protoplast culture anther culture meristem culture embryo culture and organ culture the underlying principles involved in plant tissue culture are very simple here firstly a plant part from the intact plant and inter organ or inter tissue is isolated and secondly it is necessary to provide the plant part with an appropriate environment in which it can express its intrinsic or induced potential it means that a suitable culture medium and proper culture conditions must be provided and finally these procedures must be carried out aseptically now i will discuss about the importance of this plant tissue culture or why do we need this plant tissue culture the main reason behind plant tissue culture is the production of clones of plants means by this plant tissue culture we can clone a plant very quickly plant tissue culture can be used to conserve rare or endangered plant species this process is used to cross distantly related species by protoplast fusion and regeneration of the novel hybrid large scale production of artificial seeds can be done by somatic embryogenesis which is a type of this plant tissue culture we can produce identical sterile hybrids by this process which plants have low germination rate like orchid we can make clones of those plants by this tissue culture method very quickly so this plant tissue culture method is very important in modern biotechnology now what is a explant so this cultures are generally initiated from sterile pieces of a whole plant these pieces are termed as explants these can be consist of pieces of organs such as leaves or root or maybe specific cell type such as pollen or endosperm many features of this explant are known to affect the efficiency of culture initiation generally younger more rapidly growing tissue is most effective now i will discuss about the plasticity and the totipotency totipotency is the ability of a single cell to divide and produce all the differentiated cells in an organism actually totipotency is the genetic potential of a plant cell to produce the entire plant and plasticity allows plants to alter their metabolism growth and development to best suit their environment 
this plasticity allows one type of tissue or organs to be initiated from another type under the influence of chemical stimuli in this way whole plants can be subsequently regenerated from a single cell this was a brief introduction to the plant tissue culture in the next video i will discuss about the processes involved in the plant tissue culture so thank you for watching the video please like the video and share the video and please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet so we'll meet you in the next video thank you